Hello and welcome back to Fem Design video lessons. In this video, you will learn how to use reinforced concrete design module in Fem Design software. You can find reinforcement concrete design module from here under RC Design tab. What you can do here is you can uh, check reinforcements and sections for bar structures. You can check it to surface structures. You can also check punching reinforcement and you can check concealed bar reinforcements. Let's check what I have done to my model. So in my model here, I have set up few columns. I have also set a uh, modeled one concrete bar here and I have make, made one uh, plane plate from concrete and I have also made one plane wall from concrete and you can simply model this by selecting for example beam and here from set beam settings you can set section like in this beam I have here I have rectangle section and you can set the material and you can set up all the application data here and you can also set the end conditions in this tab and this uh, is the same process for plane walls or plane walls and plane plates by selecting here the correct material and starting parameters i have already calculated my model so we can directly get into the rc design tab here and here we can start checking what what we will need to do first we set up the common or general rc design confi configuration parameters here just as second order effect calculation method method do we use nominal stiffness or nominal curvature? We can uh, set uh, load combinations to be used in a crack with load combina uh, check and cracking calculation. Uh, and then we have, which we already checked, we have bar reinforcement at first. And with bar reinforcement, we can set buckling length for all bars. I have set, set it as simple as possible in this example as one. And then we have calculation parameters only for bar elements. You can see from here, we have general settings, we have eccentricity, we have, and we have calculation settings. And for the bars, we also have fire uh, design settings, which you can set up in here. So let's test this. What we can do, we can either use the outer design feature or the, or the function in fem design, or we can do the, the con uh, set the reinforcement bars manually with the manual design function here. But let's check what the outer design does. So here we can see that our outer designer uh, set bars or steel bars to a concrete and we can actually put them so that we can see them here uh, we, here we have reinforcements and we have bars so we can see that we have reinforced our concrete bar with the outer designer of course afterwards if we want to model this or make some changes to here we can go here and here you can see reinforcement bars in our concrete or we can go here and we can draw them by hand or make changes by hand to these but for now let's move on and what we have next is surface reinforcements and with this uh, it goes along the same way that with the bars you can start with the buckling lengths, for example, for the walls. What is different? We have no shear regions, like you can see here. 
femdesign have automatically set the no shear regions in top of the columns and in top of the wall there you can of course modify these or add new ones and then we have calculation parameters for our concrete structures here but let's check what the other design will do so as you can see i used the other designer but i didn't get uh, uh, this under 100 percent and i can see that the problem is with top reinforcement where it goes over 100 percent we could actually go and check where is the problem by here selecting RC shield and utilization and maximum so we can see that the problem is there where would we would actually need to add some more steel bars by hand and we can also proceed on checking the wall and here we have some major issues because we forgot to put steel in there so now we added steel with the automated auto designer and now it looks actually better we have close to 100 percent utilization there but all all the other way it looks green and it means it's good so it's color coded uh, yellow is over 80 percent utilization and green is under 80 percent and red is 100 or 99 percent here and i can also set reinforcement preview on so i can see what uh, reinforcement the, the fem design auto designer added there so let's go on and next we have punching reinforcement here and for the simplicity i just put these off and we have the punching regions here at top of these columns and what we can do uh, once again we can set up the calculation parameters for punching and we can use auto design or we can use the manual design here we actually have <coughs> uh, general product products for stud rail we have pecos psp products and we have bended bars stirrups and stirrups open uh, let's for example, let's set this to be uh, Pecos PSP products here and now we can check how it works over there. And here we can actually see that uh, uh, with Pecos products we can get the uh, punching re reinforcement work there. And remember for all of these uh, checks we can always go and check the documentation or the calc design calculations that we have performed by using detailed results function and here we can see for the punching or the Pecos product we can see the detailed documentation and summary of the utilization now we can move on last we have concealed bar reinforcements i and i have made one already one concealed bar here and how you how you can start your process is simply drawing your concealed bar wherever you need it to be and then you can actually go and set up set up some steel uh, or reinforcements to your concealed bar like here I have this and I can set first I can set stirrups here then I can set oh sorry I forgot to draw it in there like this and then I can set longitude bars here like this And when I have done this, I can go to Fem Design and I can check 
that concealed bar over there. But this was a quick review on RC Design tab or RC Design module in Fem Design. I hope you learned something new, what you can do with this. We quickly uh, looked into all four of the different design functions here. But this was all from this video. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video.